everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today on the show, I'm going to be talking about the new film starring Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, also directed by Bradley Cooper, uh, and this is uh, Star is Born. Now, Star is Born, this is, I think, the fourth version of this film that's come out over the years. Uh, the first remake was with Judy Garland. The last remake was with Barbara Streisand and uh, and Chris Christopherson uh, as well. It's just I, I enjoy that movie, but again, it's it's uh, very very uh, late '70s, early '80s, and uh, it's still you know it's still a solid film. But um, I have to say, this version of A Star Is Born is just an outstanding musical drama. It is one of the best movies I've ever seen about the music business, and I have to say I was very, very deeply moved by this film, surprisingly so. I wasn't expecting to enjoy this movie, uh, but I ended up really, really loving it, and I'm going to talk to you about it today. Uh, Bradley Cooper in the film stars as a uh, kind of a, a country music rock and roll star that ends up kind of on a downward spiral because of his alcoholism. And I have to say that Bradley Cooper does give an amazing performance as this. We'll get uh, into that later. But he runs into Lady Gaga in a bar, and he sees her giving a performance of a, of a song. Uh, uh, and basically, he sees this performance and sees something about her and ends up kind of taking her along with him and she ends up being an amazing songwriter and they end up having a romance and it's really about their relationship and Bradley Cooper uh, and really how they get along as the years go by and how his star kind of slowly declines and she kind of ri uh, rises to fame and it's a very interesting story again it's been done many times before but the way it's done in this film is truly outstanding uh, Bradley Cooper, as I mentioned earlier, is incredible in this film. Uh, his character is heavily flawed, and I mean heavily, heavily flawed, but yet you still want to see him kind of succeed. You still want to see him and Lady Gaga uh, get along successfully, and you really want to see him pull through uh, his horrible alcoholism and drug addiction and stuff like that, and I think his performance in this movie is damn near perfect. I loved him in this film. And is, it's probably my favorite performance of his. He is an amazing dramatic actor. And he really does get to show what he's made of in this film. And I got to tell you, it was beyond impressive. Lady Gaga also gives a great performance as well. Even though she definitely is not a seasoned actress, she gives an amazing, amazing performance in this as well. Um, she also provides the movie's best musical moments, in my opinion. Her voice in this, uh, it's, it's incredible, some of the songs she belts out in this. Especially, uh, there's a, a scene near the beginning of the movie where she's walking down this alleyway, and it's actually where they show the title of the film. And that scene, hearing her voice echo through this alleyway, it gave me chills. I was blown away. Um, just by how powerful her performance was. It is really, truly amazing. Um, her chemistry with Cooper in this is truly outstanding as well. Um, they get along like a real couple in this thing, and it's been a while since I've seen chemistry that good between a lead and a co-star, and uh, I should say that, the, you know, the two leads, really, I mean, Lady Gaga is no co-star. I, I shouldn't even say that, but... They really are. Um, they really are a great on-screen couple in this. And when they have their issues, you can really tell that you know they are amazing actors. And some of the stuff they go through in this movie, it's it's really something to see. And I loved their chemistry in this. They really did a great job. One other actor I want to mention. Um, who gives uh, just an outstanding performance in this film is uh, is Sam Elliott, and Sam Elliott is just truly, truly outstanding in this as well. Um, I'm using the word outstanding a lot because I mean the acting in this film is uh, above uh, above the level, man. It really is a notch above most that I've seen in recent memory. Um, Sam Elliott plays uh, Bradley Cooper's brother, who is also his manager, 
And you can really see that, you know, Bradley Cooper's put him through the ringer in terms of uh, his alcoholism and dealing with him. And his acting in this movie, it's, it's a subdued performance, but he still gives an extremely powerful, powerful performance in this. Uh, he really provides some of the most dramatic moments in the film. Uh, there is one scene in particular where he literally says nothing. And uh, some other critics have actually mentioned this moment. And it is, it is, I started tearing up, honestly. I started tearing up in the movie theater because um, I've been where he is. And I know what it's like to, to be in the situation that he's in. And my God, man, it, it is just an amazing performance from Sam Elliott in this. And I really, really hope he gets recognized for his work in this film. He gives an outstanding performance. And uh, I, I love him as an actor. I, I loved him in, in little films, big films. And my God, man, I cannot tell you how much I loved his acting in this film. It was amazing. Um, one other thing I got to mention, one other thing I got to mention is, uh, Bradley Cooper's direction in this film is, I mean, it's damn near expert level. And this is his first film. This is his first film he's directed. And man, it shows some surprising expertise. Uh, the whole movie looks great. Uh, every shot in the movie looks like it was expertly set up. Um, the concert scenes in particular, you get some shots um, from the stage point of view and those shots feel like a real concert. I didn't feel like they were using CGI to fill in the crowds or anything. The audio in those scenes are just, it's mind-blowing. It really is. Uh, the songs that are in the, you know, in the movie you know, were written specifically for the film and they are really, really great. Um, and they are not crappy, like, one-off songs. They are really, really good, good songs. And uh, it's, been the, it's been a while since I've seen a movie that deals with, like, singers and stuff that, have, that has, like, really good music in it. Usually they write some, like, very quick little ditty and then it's over. This movie's got some damn good songs. It actually reminded me a lot of the music that was in The Bodyguard. Uh, many years ago, another movie that dealt with like the music industry, and this does this better than that movie does. Um, the songs are really, really well done, and the performances of the uh, the stars in the movie are just you know amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, by the end of the film, I'm going to be honest, there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Uh, I was getting teary eyed. Uh, everybody in the theater was walking out of there like they got hit by a truck. It is a very emotional film, and uh, if you're going to go, bring the Kleenex. I'm giving A Star is Born a 4.5 out of 5. Uh, it is damn near perfect. I really didn't have much to nitpick. Um, it is just a damn great movie, and I loved every minute of it. I'm Andrew Cavanaugh. Thank you for coming back to Cavanaugh's Corner. If you like this review, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel to see more stuff like this. Thank you very much. Good night.